Hello everybody, this is Jacob from ImmersiveMath.com and this time we will show you how we can represent a vector, a three-dimensional vector using um, three basis vectors, E1, E2, and E3, as long as they are uh, not all three of them contained in a plane. And um, we will also show that this uh, representation that you get is unique. It means there's only way one way of of doing that. There's only one set of coordinates that will give you that point. <clears throat> so uh, the vector that we are interested in representing is the vector going from O to P here. Um, and um, we, we uh, sh show that by first creating the plane uh, pi 12 here, which is something that uh, contains the origin but also uh, is parallel to both E1 and E2. As you can see here, both of them are um, inside this plane, whereas E3 is, is poking out of the plane. Um, so what we do then is we take E3 and we project the point P along E3. So we take E3 and we project um, P along that direction until it hits the plane in, in P 12 here and this p12 is then inside the plane and that means that we can represent p12 <coughs> using uh, as a linear combination of e1 and e2 so basically you have e1 uh, times something and then you get this point and you have e2 times something and then you get that point and you add those two together you get p12 and then it's easy to see that if you go from p12 then you just go along the E3 direction in order to get to P. And this uh, P12 is uniquely defined in terms of E1 and E2. There is only one set of coordinates that will bring you to P12. And along this line, it's also easy to see that there's only one coordinate that will take you to P. In this case, it's made that this is 1 and this is 2, so this is somewhere between 2 and 3. So uh, that also means that that is unique. So that basically uh, concludes this example, and I hope you got something out of that, and see you next time.